What are you looking at? Yeah, I put something on top of your cage again. Mean mama, huh? Nosy gets all upset when I set stuff on top of their enclosure. What's bothering you up there? Yeah, I put junk on top of your house again. Huh. So, yep, she did it again. She put crap on top of my cage. Water containers for the snakes enclosures. Grumpy's on the bottom floor. Huh. Whatever it is, it's got your attention. What'd you find? Huh? That's a nosy. What are you doing up on your perch? You got a full belly at this state. What are you doing? <laughs> Is that interesting? Huh? Nosy! What? What? What's up there? Say so she put crap on top of my cage again. Yeah, I did. <laughs> That's Grumpy's tail. He's on his way down to the bottom level. There he is. What do you want? Eh, what do you want? There. I'll leave you be and let you stare at the ceiling. And I'm leaving the water dishes up there, so get over it. Yep. What are you doing, Nosy? Huh? Oh, that's grumpy. Nosy found a piece of lint up on the wall in the corner. And she's been sitting here staring at it for the last hour. This is how strange snakes really are. Small things amuse them. And what'd you find? Did you find a piece of dust up there? <laughs> she's been staring at it for an hour. A little teeny piece of lint dust like in the corner this is just their night light it's a uh, 215 watt soft white bulbs so i can see them at night and check on them there's nosy up here staring at a piece of lint in the corner is that interesting they're amused by the simplest of things their uh cage is really close to my kitchen as you can see and anything I'm doing in the kitchen, they're always in this corner right here watching me. Whether I'm cooking or cleaning or whatever I'm doing. This is my kitchen area and their cage is really the closest to it of all my snake enclosures. But yeah, that's what they... They love pay, watching me and love seeing what I'm doing all the time. And I like the way it's set up. So they, there's a lot of activity going on around them. That's the top level and the bottom level. But yeah, this is just their night light. This two 15 watt soft white bulbs. And she's still staring at that stupid piece of lint. Nosy, you're rotten. You're nut job. <laughs> it's lint. You know, at least she got her mind off the water. Well, I took the water bowls down, as you can see, because she had a fit about that. And yeah, they get their way with me, unfortunately. That's why they're so spoiled. Grumpy, he's over here climbing this wall. What are you doing? What are you doing, crazy? It's real dark in this corner. But this is their curtain I close when I'm feeding other snakes when they're not eating so they don't get stressed out and don't get all hyper from the smell of the rats for the other snakes. It'd be nice if all snakes ate at the same time the same day, but it just doesn't work that way. Sorry it's so dark. It's just a light that I have on it right now. She's still staring at that dumb piece of lamp. Nosy, you're hopeless. <laughs> Big wacko job. I'm just grumpy. So I'm climbing the walls too. Now he's kind of freaking out because I took the stuff off the top of the cage. And she's in her glory now because I moved it. But now he's bugging out because he noticed it's gone. So six one, half a dozen of the other. You can't make them both happy all the time. As you can see, I still got snow on the roof of their outdoor enclosure. We're supposed to get 40 degree weather Tuesday and Wednesday. So they'll all melt and come off. But this is their basking floor where they spend their time in the summer in the sun. Yeah. Happy snakes. 
She's still staring at that stupid piece of lint. You're a piece of work you are, Nosy. And she'll sit there for hours doing it, just staring at it. Weirdness. Well, what are you doing, Nosy? You happy I took the water dishes off your top? What are you doing, you up there by your nightlight? It's not very warm, it's only 15 watt. They have a belly heating pad. She's up here basking by the <laughs> light bulbs. I have this curtain that I keep up here. I close it when I'm feeding the other snakes so Nosy and Grumpy don't get all excited and get all stressed out so they don't see. But yeah. Well, what are you doing, Nosy? Huh? She's up on her perch. Uh, you weirdo. I'm up here by the lights. Yeah, I am. What are you doing? That grumpy. That's not nosy. I thought it was nosy. That's grumpy, but he's not talking tonight. Must be you're happy about everything today. Where's the nosy? Oh, there she is. She's down there on the floor. Yeah. But yeah, they're closest to my kitchen. Their enclosure is. So they watch everything I do in the kitchen. And when I'm in there cooking or cleaning or anything, they're always right here with their noses in this corner watching everything I'm doing in the kitchen area. And they love watching me. They're very alert, very aware of everything that's going on. Are you having fun? So I got a full belly. But this is their nightlight. I keep it on at night so I can keep an eye on them. Grumpy's up here sitting beside it, up on top of their perch. Pretty good. An 11 foot boa constrictor on top of a perch. Are you coming down now? Okay. You gonna come down? You're not eating anymore. You had all you're getting today. Nope. No more. All done. All done for you. Nope. You're not eating again today. No, you're not. Forget all about it. But yeah, this is just a curtain I have up here across the top frame that I close so they don't smell the food that I'm feeding the other snakes and they don't get all stressed out and excited. <laughs> Sorry, I can't talk very clear. I've got nose issues from hell from all this crap weather we've been having this winter. Yeah, there's Grumpy going down now. You coming down? Alrighty. I guess Nosy gave up on staring at her piece of land up in the corner. She did that for an hour. After I took the thing, the water dishes off the top of her cage, so she quit staring at them. You going up now? You going up and over? Is that? No, nope, you're going down to the bottom floor. There goes Grumpy down to the bottom floor. Get a drink of water. But this is her basking floor. You can see the snow on the outside of there, on top of their outside enclosure. That's Grumpy going downstairs now. Yeah, I'm going down. I love having them in my home. I love being around them. And I love caring for them. You get your nose right away from that door. You're not eating anymore tonight. You already had two colossal rats today. You both did, you hogs. Oh, no more for you. They're just awesome animals. I, I just can't believe they're banning snakes like they are. And adding them to the lacy egg that's ridiculous anybody that's experienced can raise big constrictors without any concerns whatsoever and i really think it's come to a point that instead of educating the public about snakes we need to start educating the politicians about them because obviously they don't know anything about big constrictors based on what they're doing and they've already had the burmese pythons and they're just out of control and there's no scientific reason for these animals to be added to the Lacey Act. They're no threat to anyone. Yep. You downstairs now? You gonna go get in the water dish and play again? You gonna go play in your water? Yep, it's going down. Plus that night light up on the top level keeps the bottom lit up semi so they can see. Well, they can see good in the dark anyway, but nosy's over there resting. 
I love them to death. I, I just, it makes me sick how people are trying to add all these snakes to the Lacey Act and ban people from keeping them and reproducing them and selling them and sharing them with everybody else. Someday these will all be extinct because of the politicians' ignorance, unfortunately. Now I've got a killer cold. Never too sick to take care of my baby, so, huh? Say, nope, we're not. Well, that's nosy and grumpy. There, Jade, basking under her light. Say, hey, I'm, I'm in a tight little ball tonight, so I'm staying warm. I'm on my heating pad and under my light. And Sunny's in here. I get people asking me about my enclosures all the time. They're Sunny. Uh, we got Tony and Crystal in this one. My adult corn snakes are in that one right there. Everybody knows who this is. This is Fade. He's under his light stand warm tonight on his belly heating pad. And my monster Chewy. <laughs> Making rounds. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hmm? I love them all. And of course, my baby corn snakes. The five I held back are in this one. So, yeah, I'm surrounded by them. I love being surrounded by them. And I love them all to death. They're just amazing animals. And I really couldn't honestly say that I prefer the company of any person over the company and companionship of my snakes. They're just magnificent animals. <coughs> Excuse me. So poorly misrepresented by people that don't know anything about them. And terribly exploited by the media and the press because they don't care about the effects that what they put out there has on people that raise snakes and dedicated their lives to raising them and taking care of them. And that's a shame because in the end the only losers will be the snakes. It won't be the people as much as it will be the animals. That's just pathetic. You coffee? Or nosy. Full bellies. We got full bellies tonight. Grumpy's downstairs. What are you doing? You're not eating again tonight. You already had all you're getting. Turn your light off so you go to bed. 